Thank you so much for hanging out with us here on Sport On. Remember, we are with you up until 5 p.m. Central African time, talking nothing but sport. And I did say to you that I've got uh, legends here in studio today. And uh, one, the first one is KG Dikhaji that uh, is joining me here right now. And he was a bit worried that his team is losing to Mamelodi Sundowns in uh, the Telkom Knockout Semi-Finals. In fact, let's show you what uh, has been happening in uh, the uh, Mamelodi Sundowns up against Golden Arrow Semi-Final out in Durban. Let's uh, go straight to uh, the stadium there and show you what is happening right now. It's 2-0 uh, to Mamelodi Sundowns. That's the score currently. And uh, KG had a gripe with uh, one of the scorers here. We'll talk about it a little bit later as to why uh, he is saying that. So two goals thus far for Peter Musimani and his men. We'll try to show you at some point during the show how they came in those two goals. But uh, we'll keep dipping in and uh, looking at the Telkom knockout semifinals. It's about taking those chances and making an impression, and I think that Tarusnath has done that. Good hustling. It's the hustling that's putting Mamela Di Sundowns under pressure. It's Knox Matizwa, he's a known finisher. I'll tell you what, if he'd gone down and stayed down. All right, uh, we'll keep giving you an update of what is happening in that match. But right now, let's talk to KG, who played for Golden Arrows, I think, in two spells. Before he left for English football and when he came back, he went straight back home. KG, thank you so much for your time, man. Thank you very much and thank you for having me in the studio. You know when Free State is in the house, I... I'm telling you, my man, we're taking over everything. Uh, thank you so much. What's our Free State? Brantford. Mm. Home is Brantford, yeah. How, how was it growing up there? Uh, well, it was... a a bit tough, you know, it's a small town in the Free State, um, not well known of, but yeah, it was tough, but then, yeah, uh, you know, they managed to, to, to bring out a stain. Yeah, place, yeah, yeah. I think it's famous for two things, mm. KG Dikhaji and Mama Win. Winnie Mandela. Yeah. yeah. Okay. We, 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 we thank uh, Brantford for what it has produced for South Africa. So, how do you get to Durban? When, when, you, when you are a free state boy and contact with Mematu uh, Madlala uh, and everything, how does that ha happen? Uh, well, I was actually playing for Bloemfontein Young Tigers. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we, I, I, I remember we went to play against, uh, it was Marisbeck City at that time. Mm. Uh, and then uh, the late Rocky Madlala, who was the brother of uh, Sismato, mm. Uh, came over with uh, Coach Cabo Zondo. Mm. Uh, they came to watch the the game, and then that's where they they, they scouted me from. Mm. And you you spent how long at Golden Arrows? Uh, I spent I think over four years. Uh, at that season, when I got there, there was a bit of a of an issue with 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 my transfer from Young Tigers uh, to to Arrows. Uh, I stayed for, for a couple of months and then, you know, eventually that year things, you know, came all right and then yeah. I managed to register and then uh, I think I played a season or two and then in 2008 I got invited to train with Fulham mm. uh, in England. I spent two weeks and then, you know, they were happy with my progress, obviously, and then um, gave me some program to yeah. follow. And then, yeah, in 2009 I moved over to, to England. Hey. You know that time, Kate. I, I don't think a lot of people would, would would understand that when you when you're playing for the traditionally smaller clubs in South Africa, mm. the the ambition, the aim for a lot of players is to go to the likes of Chiefs, Sundowns, Pirates. That's the aim to come to Houti. Mm. Where now you shot straight from Golden Arrows. Mm to the English Premier League, and you actually played because you were signed, the, the deal was concluded in August, I think in September, you made your debut. Yeah, yeah. Um, look, it's obviously not easy. I think everyone would think that, you know, it's, it's not easy to, to come from South Africa straight to the UK, but I would rather maybe, you know, play for a big team or go via 
Uh, loans. We we yeah. see loans. We see our players being signed, and exactly. then we hear, ah, no. Yeah. For 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 now, we know we've signed him for five years, but let's let's take him to Belgium yeah. or some obscure you know, gain, league. Some yeah, to gain some some experience of international football. But for me, it wasn't like that. You know, um, I I had to you know work hard, uh, focus, forget about you know what was happening at that time because it was it was a bit difficult. You mm. know. Uh, moving abroad in, in the cold weather you don't know anyone the food is different so yeah it was it was a bit difficult but i had to tell myself you know what like uh, this is what i came here for and uh, i just need to focus and then i will get my chance why live with that way how i'm told to wonder because I've, I've heard a lot of players talk about ah i i came back you ask them why why did you come back so early players that are uh, 23, 24, coming back home. I, I, I can't even move to uh, these. Why, why is that a problem? Look, it's normal, you know, to be in a foreign land when you, where you don't know anyone. Uh, you know, after training, you, you got no one to chill with, you know, to, to share some ideas with. Uh, I understand, but uh, that can't be an excuse, you know. Mm. You know what you want, uh, not just only you. You know that uh, that's gone there to 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 play, but you must. You know what's uh, uh, what's one interesting thing about <laughs> your time at uh, at Fulham? On your uh, uh, debut, as I, as I said, you made your debut in September mm. of that year when you moved there. Uh, was it 2009? Yeah. You were sent off. You were red carded in your very first game in English football before half time. KG was showering. What happened? Look, uh, it, was, it was a terrible game for us. You know, um, it, was a, it was a derby. We were playing against West Ham, uh, I remember. So, uh, you know, Scott Parker was, was, was a dirty player yeah. to, to play against. And, you know, the manager on the bench, he, he was Roy Hodgson at that time. Um, he was furious also. And then he... You know, he, would, he was like, you know, uh, you guys also you must go after him. Yeah, uh, rough him up a yeah, bit. Yeah, show, show him that you guys also are not softies, you know, you're not sissies. And to be honest, I didn't intend, obviously, to, to fight. And that's just after you they slapped changed. Him. You slapped him. I actually did not. <laughs> I only pushed him, but uh, it happened that my hand was, was here on his throat. Yeah. So, and that's... Just after the, the FIFA changed the rules that, like, if you put a hand on someone's face, then it's a red card. So, yeah, uh, yeah, it was, it was a bad experience, but then, yeah. Mm. All right. So, from there, you kicked into gear. Did, did it, the, the fact that you played uh, and the fact that you, you, you seemed to fit like a glove in English football, not just at, at Fulham, which was maybe perhaps not your, your best uh, club in, in, in English football. I think at Crystal Palace, is, it's, it's where you maybe enjoyed your game better. Yeah. What changed from not knowing anyone and the food being not what you used to, and now KG is actually a starter every day. He's in there. He's playing week in, week out against these world-famous players. You know, at the time, having John Pencil, John Pencil is from, from Ghana. If yes. you remember him, he was yes. the assistant coach to Steve Compella. Having him in the team at the time helped me a lot, you know. Uh, we used to have, obviously, chats, and then he would advise me as to, you know, how, you know, things are done and, you know, how I should apply myself into the game. Because remember, at the time, he, he spent over a couple of, of years in England, so he was used to the environment mm. and he's experienced so, yeah, having him there helped me a lot. Um, even though I didn't play as, as, as many games as I wanted to for Fulham, but then, you know, going back to uh, the championship, which was the league below the yeah. Premier League, uh, to, to gain, obviously, some more game time also helped me. And then we had uh, Doggy Freeman, who also believed in me, and then he wanted me to come permanent to the team. So, yeah... Um, yeah, I had a, a, a good, good spell at, at uh, Crystal Palace. But why did you leave? Because they did offer you a new contract when, when yours expired. And you said, no, I'm going to Cardiff. Why did you, if you had uh, such a good time? They, 
did offer me the, the contract, but I wasn't happy with the contract. Uh, and then the only team that I could go to was obviously Cardiff. The team that had ambitions uh, recently got relegated from the Premier League. They wanted to go back straight up uh, into the Premier League. And they had someone who was, who was you know, upcoming, Ole Gunnar Sosha, who is with United now. Uh, we also believed that, you know, just spending a couple of months in the championship and then going back into the Premier League would do good. But things didn't go well, you know, at, at Cardiff. Uh, but then, yeah, it's, it's, it's a decision that I don't regret at the end of the day because I was happy with the country. Mm. Mm. So this, this Ole, Ole Solskjaer, the Manchester United coach slash manager, he was your coach there Yeah, he's the Cardiff. One. He's the one who brought me from Crystal Palace to, to Cardiff. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, man, KG, you've done big things. Mm. So of all the, the three English teams that you played for, which one would you say you enjoyed your, 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 your football best at? I would say Crystal Palace. Crystal Palace. Yeah. The numbers. Uh, the number you, when you ever go to Selders Park, uh, Selders Park it's a, always a, a great atmosphere and uh, you enjoy your football over there. So you'll never regret. Mm. Yeah. All right. KG, let's, let's quickly, before we go to break, talk about your international uh, uh, game. I spoke about that pass yeah. <laughs> from Shaba. The fluke one. Did he buy you a beer after that? No. <laughs> yeah. no. And funny enough... Wait, only... wait, wait. Did you say fluke? That's what you said. I heard you. <laughs> did you mean it? Of course I did. What do you mean? No, but KG, it, we, it was... know, we know you as a midfield hard man, winning position, the tackles. Giving out uh, 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 simple passes. Simple, but that one wasn't simple, pass. my man. We need to find that pass uh, of of you to Shaba. just sliding it to Shaba. It was per day, day. It was perfect. Yeah, that, that was... perfect. That Shaba only needed one touch. Yeah, one touch, KG, and it was a goal. Look, it was it was the most most fifteen minutes of of football I ever played. Uh, Mexico were pressing us up high. Uh, and, you know, we, we, we had told ourselves, like, you know, if we spend too much time on the ball, that's when they're going to take the ball off you. Yeah. So we need to just quick, uh, play quick, quick, quick. High and always there's going to be spaces on the side. So, you know, look at that. And finally, this guy only got to thank me a year, <laughs> two years later. That's Only in 2012 he sent later, you for that pass. Two years later he said, hey, thank you, my friend. You know that You made me. He said, <laughs> go away. Go away. But yeah, um, it, was, it was a great goal. Um, you could see the focus on him. Yeah. The way he leaned on top of the ball it was a good execution. Yeah, it was a wonderful goal, uh, KG. We only remember Shaba, but I saw the pass because I appreciate the yeah, pass. Because you are from the Free State, and I'm from ah, the of Free course, State, so, yeah. of course, of course. Let's let's take a quick break. We'll continue our chat after that. Uh, we'll talk about uh, coaching adventures and business. He's also a businessman. Stick with us here on uh, Sport On. We'll tell you more after this. I'm a 